Wormhole can be considered as a bridge or a tunnel between space and time. Either it creates a link between space and time, which causes the infinite distances between galaxies to disappear or to make it much less than what it is. In fact, it can be called a shortcut. Let me explain it in another way for you to understand better. The travel speed of a material inside this tunnel is equal to the speed of light, which cannot be reduced in any way. Of course, some scientists said the opposite. It means that the speed in the wormhole is slow. If you want to know everything about wormholes, don't miss the end of this video. For the first time, this theory was expressed by two famous scientists, Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen. Before the theory of these two people, it is better to take a look at the theory of Ludwig Flam, which was proposed in 1916. In fact, the theory was first discovered by this gentleman. But in the end, he is known as Einstein and Rosen. This physicist was examining the solutions that other scientists had presented about the equations of the theory of general relativity. When he suddenly realized that there could be another solution, he called the solution a white hole, which, if we want to summarize it very briefly, we can say that white hole is the time reversal of a black hole. Now it's Einstein and Rosen turn. They were explaining the same theory that they use bridges that could connect space and time to define it. Finally, these theories were registered under the name of Paul Einstein Rosen or Wormhole. Hello, you are watching Space Facts. We cannot continue without your support. There are many movies about wormholes and traveling through it. But what you see in Hollywood is completely different from what you see in reality. In fact, the problems that exist in this journey are very difficult and complicated. For example, the first problem is its size, which according to scientists estimates is between 10 and 33 centimeters. Of course, they said that it may become larger in the future with the expansion of existence, which can increase the changes of traveling through this wormhole. We define the wormhole as a series of bridges, but these bridges are not as safe as we think. In fact, the wormhole is an unstable bridge. Of course, the Einstein-Rosen theory also mentioned this issue. According to this theory, wormholes are completely unsafe for space travel. Of course, I should mention that the wormhole doesn't only connect space and time. It can also connect two worlds. Of course, this theory, time travel with a wormhole, has opponents, one of the most important of which is Stephen Hawking, but nothing is impossible. What is man can it pass through the wormhole? In fact, physics supports this theory and has declared that it is possible for objects to pass through a wormhole. But provided that the problems mentioned above are resolved, well as a rule, a human cannot pass through a 33 cm hole and expect to travel through time or a world despite unstable bridges. So I conclude that such a thing is possible. But not now. What do you think? Do you think there will become a time when humans can travel through a wormhole in time? Write in comments. 5 interesting facts about wormholes. Wormholes have two openings and a throat that connects these two openings. Wormholes appear regularly, but cannot be recorded or exploited as they disintegrate in seconds. Wormholes are extremely unstable and any foreign material around them causes them to collapse and this issue can lead to the release of radiation. If someone can enter the wormhole, it is impossible to say where his destination will be. A person may be transported to a different time or a different world. If you travel using a wormhole, you may not find any back to the same point of origin. So, the wormhole journey may be a one-way ticket. The difference between a wormhole and a black hole, according to a simple explanation, a black hole is a point of space with a very high gravity and density that even light cannot escape from. 
This attraction is strong enough to compress all matter into a small space. In 1915, Albert Einstein first proposed a theory of general relativity about the possibility of black holes. The term black hole was coined a few years later in 1967 by an American astronomer named John Wheeler. According to the theory of general relativity, mass that is compressed enough can bend space-time and form a black hole. Black holes uh, do not reflect any light, but they can be identified based on the effect they have no matter and mass around them. In the future, powerful telescopes like James Webb will uh, reveal many secrets about black holes. On the other hand, wormholes act like space tunnels when they connect two points with a great distance. However, wormholes are not stable according to current laws and navigate mass or navigate energy is needed to maintain them. Although wormholes are fascinating theoretical objects, their existence in the real world was not yet proven and accepted by the scientist community until 1910 but that doesn't mean that they cannot exist at all. Einstein presented his famous equations for the first time in 1915. After only one year, found a way to mathematically describe black holes. However, this definition was so ambitious that scientists at that time didn't accept the existence of objects like black holes. It took 50 years for scientists to seriously realize the existence of black holes. This issue is also true for wormholes, and it takes a long time to prove their existence or non-existence. But if scientists discover real wormholes in the future, this will change the way humanity looks at the world.